Hello everyone. My name is Priyanka Shahane and I am working as assistant professor in artificial intelligence and data science department of AISSMS Institute of Information Technology Pune. In this video, we are going to study the concept of hashing. Now let us understand what is hashing. Hashing is basically a method of storing and retrieving the data from data set in order of one time. This technique is widely used for dictionary implementation. Here dictionary implementation refers to retrieving the required information from dictionary using search keys. It uses hash function to map the keys to different positions in the hash table. So here it maps larger values of the keys to smaller values. Therefore, it is also known as mapping technique. Now let us understand various terminologies used in hashing. First one is search key. Search key is a value used to search record in a database. For example, in the student's database, details of students can be searched using roll number of that student. So we can say roll number is the search key in this case. Next one is hash table. Hash table is array data structure used to store keys or key value pairs. And it looks like this. You can see here indexing starts with the number 0. Third one is hash function. Hash function is used to determine index of the key in the hash table. Index means position at which we are going to store our search key in the hash table. Different hash functions that we can use are kmod10, kmodn, folding method and mid square method. First one is kmod10. Let me explain you this function with the help of one example. If the given search keys are 12, 10, 23 and 24 and we are using hash function k mod 10 then 12 mod 10 gives 2 because mod operation returns remainder of two numbers. So if we divide number 12 by 10 then remainder is 2. Therefore here result is 2. Similarly 10 mod 10 gives 0, 23 mod 10 gives 3, 24 mod 10 gives 4. So the search keys 12, 10, 23 and 24 will get stored at positions 2, 5, 3 and 4 in the hash table respectively. And the resulting hash table would look like this. Next function is k mod n. If the given search keys are 12, 10, 23 and 24 and we are using hash function k mod 8 where n is equal to 8. Note one thing in the case of k mod n hash function value of n is given to us. In this example value of n is 8. Therefore 12 mod 8 returns 4, 10 mod 8 returns 2. 23 mod 8 returns 7 and 24 mod 8 returns 0. Therefore, the search keys 12, 10, 23 and 24 will get stored at positions 4, 2, 7 and 0 in the hash table respectively. And the resulting hash table would look like this. Next one is mid square method. Let me explain you with the help of an example. If the given search key is 236 and you want to store it in a hash table by mid square method, then first step is take the square of middle term in our search key. For search key 236, middle term is 3. So 3 square is 9.
Then next step is store the key at square position with hash table. So a key 236 will get stored at 9 position in hash table as the 3 square result was 9. Next function is folding method. If the search key to be stored in the hash table is 320123, then first of all, we split the given key into two parts. So uh, we will split 320 and 123 into two parts as 320 and 123 in order to apply folding method. Then we add up both the parts and store the key at row resulting position in hash table. So uh, addition of 320 and 123 is 443. Therefore key 320, 123 will get stored at position 443 in the hash table. Thank you for watching.